and one of the most recognized figures in the United States. We are the keepers of the flame of liberty. We hold it high tonight for the world to see, a beacon of hope, a light under the nations. Located in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty is a depiction of the Roman goddess of freedom. Dedicated in a large ceremony on October 28, 1886, the statue's official name is Liberty Enlightening the World. Originally a gift from the citizens of France, she was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Bartholdi. Law professor Edouard René de Laboulet is credited with the idea of a shared statue between the French and the Americans. The statue was meant to commemorate the U.S. centennial and the ideals that both France and the United States shared of freedom and democracy. However, only her right hand and torch were finished by 1876, and both were displayed at the American Centennial Exhibition. Lady Liberty, as she is often called, is represented wrapped in robes. In her right hand, she carries a torch meant to symbolize the light of reason. Her left hand is carrying a book of laws that is marked with the date the Declaration of Independence was signed. From the base of the statue to the top of the torch, she measures 151 feet in height. That height is doubled by the pedestal on which she stands. Built on an iron support structure, the Statue of Liberty's skin is made of copper. Originally the color of copper, by 1900 the statue's exterior had begun to change color. Eventually, the decision was made to leave this patina on the statue, and today she is the pale green color we know and love. The statue's armature was designed by the same man who designed France's Eiffel Tower, Alexandre Gustave Eiffel. A joint effort of the French, Americans, and countless hard workers, the statue was to be built in France and shipped by boat to America. In the years before the statue was built, criticism was raised that she should be designed by an American artist. That, and the fact that it took many years to raise sufficient American funds to build Lady Liberty's pedestal, stalled the project's progress for many years. However, she was presented to the Americans on Independence Day in 1884, was finally shipped early the next year, and was ultimately opened in New York Harbor in 1886. Many new Americans immigrating to the country by boat were welcomed by the Statue of Liberty upon their arrival. This helped lead to her status as a symbol for the country. A poem inscribed on her base bears the famous lines, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, and welcome settlers to the new world. Because of Lady Liberty's status as an American icon, she is often featured in pop culture and on tourist souvenirs. She is not threatening and not a symbol of power and considered a beacon of hope. Lady Liberty has witnessed well over a century's worth of history and has come to embody the American ideal of freedom. With joy and celebration, and with a prayer that this lamp shall never be extinguished, I ask that you all join me in this symbolic act of faith, this lighting of Miss Liberty's torch. Titanic. Lady Liberty is a symbol to incoming immigrants that they have finally reached the New World. In Titanic, she is seen by the rescued survivors as they enter New York Harbor, a symbol of their endurance. Number 8. The Day After Tomorrow. Despite her status as a symbol of hope, the Statue of Liberty's destruction has happened more than once on film. The Day After Tomorrow uses that destruction as a sign of the upcoming apocalypse. She is hit by a giant tsunami and later can be seen completely frozen over due to the extreme climate change that has occurred. Number 7. Deep Impact Continuing the trend of destroying Lady Liberty, Deep Impact also saw the statue swallowed up by a giant tsunami, along with the Brooklyn Bridge and the entire island of Manhattan. Her decapitated head is later seen floating down the street, a sign that things would never be the same. Number 6. Cloverfield the Statue of Liberty is no stranger to damage, and Cloverfield is definitely no exception. Her decapitated head flies through New York City streets and is one of the first signs that the city is in for some trouble. Wait, did you guys see that? Did you guys just see that? Number 5. Superman 4. Perhaps the worst movie on this list, Superman 4 uses Lady Liberty not as a beacon but as a weapon. She is thrown at the city by Nuclear Man, one of the film's villains. Fortunately, Superman is able to save both the innocent citizens and Lady Liberty from impending doom, thus proving that he still stands for truth, justice, and the American way.